up YouTube? We're back in the video. It's video. We're going to go over everything you need to know currently. Or I mean, what you need to do right now before Madden 25 comes out. Madden 25 at this moment comes out in about two days. It comes out on, a, on Monday the 12th, I think. Monday, Monday the 12th at 4 p.m. Eastern. Okay? 4 p.m. Eastern. So... It's pretty at it's um in the afternoon. Pretty nice time. It's gonna be a global release. And I will be on the game. A lot of people will be on the game. But there's a couple things you can do right now on Cut Football to be able to get a head start. You can do some stuff on Madden too. You can like do some rookie premieres and all that. But rookie premieres, let's be honest, if you haven't done them already, you won't be able to get them done. You don't you're not gonna have a coin. It costs like 16 million coins or more on Madden right now to do it. I didn't get it done because this year. I had enough coins, but then I was dumb at the very end. Wasted a lot of coins. Made bad bad decisions. So I didn't get to actually afford it this year. Which sucks, but it is what it is. But uncut right now. Stuff you can do. If you get go over here, season one. If you if you're buying the game, if you plan buying the game, and you don't actually have college football and you're buying plan buying Madden if you haven't bought Madden already, make sure you buy buy EA play. It's six dollars a month. Yes, buy for one month. Download Cut Football before the Madden comes out. Play, download ten dollar trial, and do the stuff I'm telling. I'm gonna be telling you to do in this video right now. Okay, if you're if you're currently if you're still gonna buy if you're buying Madden still, you haven't already pre-purchased the game. Okay, because you save you have to save money on the purchase you buy EA Play because the game um will give it it'll give you a ten percent discount, which is if you buy the seventy dollar game. EA Play costs six bucks. You get seven bucks off of the game, so you, you make a dollar, in theory. Or if you buy the hundred dollar version of the game, you get, you pay six bucks and you get ten dollar off. And you also gotta get to work on these rewards if you have, don't have cut football already. Um, first thing you need to do, get level twenty, right here. This thing right here, make sure so you start at level ten, and college, and I'm not in college ultimate team, in mad ultimate team, mut twenty five. Well, it gets leveling it starting at level 10. It's not a huge boost, but it is a boost. I will always take starting at, starting at level 10, then starting at level 1. Let's be honest. It's going to save you a little bit of time. You're going to get a decent overall, a decent play right here. We do have the Mud Stream tonight, which I will be going over everything about the Mud Stream. Um, tomorrow, in the morning. I'll be going over everything in the morning. Or maybe maybe, maybe the video about tonight. I don't know. I'm not sure right now. I got think I still got to think over it, but get level ten, get level ten. I mean get so you get level. Actually no, yeah get level. Wait no, you know, get, so you get level twenty, get level twenty and cut. Make sure you start level ten in mud, okay. Then you go over. You want to go over to your ultimate alumni challenges. I do some stuff selling, but whatever. Ultimate alumni challenges. Go over here. And you see, you scroll down. You need to get this. Um, where is it? Where is it? Um, the tier seven, tier seven at seventy stars. Okay, but you need to do um, each one of these challenges give three stars. You need to do whatever. Like if you do only offense, that's 15, 30, 45, 60. Then you have to then you have to do like four defense challenges. That's the fast way. But you probably have to do more than that if you want to get to level 20. Which getting level 20, you go over here, look at your objectives. Um, you just want to go around, do these challenges. These challenges will, will give you actually so fast. Get some in case you miss the cards in the lineup somehow. Get some alumni, cover stories, legends. Legends to get some legend players in the lineup. Um, you get that from doing solos. Like honestly, some of the, like most of the solo actually will give you some of these cards you can use. Let's go look at um Legend solos. If you do, uh, if you do, I, I, okay, I think you get, you get a, you get a, um, uh, eighty overall. So if that's 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120, and one thirty-five total stars, and that means you can get, yeah, you can get, you can get up to two eighty overalls right now, which will get you enough eighty overalls to do those two legend challenges that you need to do for XP. Alumni, they give you Malik Neighbors, and then if you get to get up to tier six, they give you 81 overall. 
You can do your challenges. You can get, get your challenges for your ultimate alumni cards then. In case you missed it, cards, I don't know. This is not. I don't think it's gonna be any players. No. I'm gonna you 80 plus overall. I guess 280 plus, 280 plus maybe. Currently. Which means you would need one more player, I think, to then be able to do all the challenges right now. Yeah, I don't think that's that 83 overall is available yet. It might be. Actually, it isn't available. Never mind. Um. So if you do all the all these challenges right here, you, you can get your three in case semester cards that you need. Converse stories wise. Um. These don't actually give you players. They just you need to buy. You'll need to buy a player or two for conference stories to get those challenges done. But you don't. You don't have to complete all of them. Getting level twenty is not gonna be that hard for you. It might take a couple hours max. But do these challenges. And also, the best way to get all these all these goals done would be inside of um, solo seasons right here. Play freshman season. Play whatever season you want to play. If you want to just get them done fast possible, do freshman seasons and just do that for the easiest way. It's really fast to do. Also, um, if you, I mean, you can do work with on Madden if you have, if you have the coins, but most most people probably won't at this point. But make sure you guys get to level twenty and do your ultimate level nine challenges. Ultimate level nine challenges give you you do all all seventy stars. That, that'll give you like three eight three some like three whatever that can and you can turn those three whatever card overalls into a champion overall, which champions are. I'm pretty sure 85 overall to start the year, which is a, is a pretty nice card to start the year with. Honestly, don't know what you, but I'll take 85 overall to start the year. Um, but so old 20, you old 10, and your 85 overall player, you get pretty nice. Another thing I would do is make sure you're like you start like you start watching some YouTube videos, understand like how like, how like. Like, even like go back to go to back to Madden 24, go back to the beginning of the year, go back to like day one, day two, people making videos on like coin methods or sniping and all that stuff. Um, so you like you can get that memory into your brain of what's gonna be good, what to do when the game comes out. What's gonna be good day one, most likely. Like what what happened? Cut. Go over here. Um, you can do low, you can do low kickers. You can do like I mean you can do, even do like this filter right here when the game comes out. Uncommon kickers sounds stupid. I realize I know this. You guys are gonna be like, Why are you doing kickers? Really, kicker filter, kicker filter is so boring, it's not gonna work. Kickers go for a lot when the game comes out because people can't kick field goals and they're like, They're like, I need a better, I need a better kicker right now. I can't deal with missing all these kicks, bro. Let me let me go buy a kicker real quick. These kickers, bro, you'll, you'll be like. They'll be going for, for like for thousands upon thousands, like probably seven, eight, nine k, probably this year, ten k. Some of the high, some of these high goals might go for like twenty k. The um the seventy seven nine kickers this year went for twenty seven k to start start like um this and cut after a couple days of the game. You also do punters. O line is also very good. People always need to be upgrading the O line. So people always buy O-line for flip, like people will always throw up snipes for O-linemen. You can do you can do low O-line, you can do high overall, high overall gold O-line. Best thing to do when the game comes out is flipping your golds. Golds is like cheap, easiest way to get up to like your five, first like few hundred K to a million at the beginning of the year. And like when the game just comes out because that's what's very popular to buy. These AU overalls would not be that great because AU overalls are not going to be like flying in the market as much as the rest of the cards in the market, like as, a, as in the gold, you know? Fullbacks are actually very, very underrated. Fullbacks, well, fullbacks that fullbacks are a very expensive card, which you can tell even in this game right now. Still, fullbacks are very expensive. People like to buy fullbacks because they need fullbacks for their team for the overall. I mean, I don't know why, but people like I, people people pay a pretty penny for a fullback in this game. So, best filters for day one, most likely will be um going for like your gold. Fullback, lineman, and your like special team kicker, like your kicker, your punter. Some quarter. If there's no quarterback to start the year, if you don't get a quarterback, if Joe Burrow or like if you, if you don't start for quarterback, the quarterback filter might be good. Or like safeties, safeties will also be good. Safeties are also good for gold, high golds. So basically, I guess also D tackles. So like special positions that are good, like linemen, like old linemen, D tackles, safeties. 
uh, special team players. Like those players are good to flip because people really need them. In quarterbacks, they're they're like they're if it's if the quarterbacks because it depends on if we start start the year of a quarterback or not in the game. It really depends on that from your pre-order and all stuff. But basically, what I'm saying: flip gold start the year, get level get level twenty and cut, complete your ultimate element challenges to your, to be able to get your eighty five overall in Madden. And yeah, good luck for this Madden season. Madden starts on Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern. I'll be ready. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be going crazy this year. Make cut on this on Madden and cut, and you know you know what it's all about. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment below for more. I'll see you next time. Peace.